Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my studio. And today I want to share my Dollar Tree haul from uh, this week with you. Yesterday I went out because it was the first time I was feeling a bit better since uh, I had my, my cold and laryngitis. And I had gotten my voice back, so I was woo, feeling like I could move mountains. Couldn't move mountains, but I went out and ran a whole bunch of errands because you know what happens when mom is sick, right? The whole world stops and nothing gets done. So then the one day she feels better. She's got to run around and take care of everything and everybody. So uh, that's what I did. And uh, so I went to Dollarama. I went to Dollar Tree. I also stopped by the veterinarian to get Kitty her food. And, of course, I had to go to the pharmacy and the post office, you know, because nobody else was able to do that. And, yeah, so I got everybody everything they needed. And I found a couple of things that they weren't because they needed it, just because I wanted it. So, without further ado, here is my Dollar Tree haul. So, the first thing I got, and this was because um, she's very special to me. So, I got... A little mousy toy for my snowball and I don't know where she is now you're missing your cue uh, snowball but uh, she's been playing with this mouse like she played with it all afternoon yesterday when I got home and all evening and all night and she even brought it to me this morning again <laughs> she keeps bringing it to me so she, she, she's quite happy with Mousy. So a few things I found at uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, I got some more of these screen guards for um, our iPhones. So I got this one that fits the uh, iPhone 6 Plus, 7, Plus and 8 plus or I can't remember which other one and this one fits the iPhone 6 6s 7 8 9 so yeah because uh, what happened this week is my son's phone uh, I could tell there was a problem with it and so could he although um, we had other people tell us there was nothing wrong with it uh, but finally it got taken to the Apple store and uh, they ran a diagnostic test and like within seconds I'm like yeah there is something wrong with this phone so fortunately uh, for him they it didn't cost anything so they just uh, replaced the whole facing of his phone and that there was a speaker problem there was a problem with one of the speakers and they replaced all that so I just got him a new um, screen card because these are $1.25 a dollar tree uh, another thing I got, this is for my other, my son, well, my son and my husband, my, both my boys and my husband, and I like it too, but my younger son especially loves this, uh, lemon pound cake that I found at Dollar Tree, and so I went to, uh, my Dollar Tree this time, and, uh, they have some now, so I picked one up for him, and I could always put it in the freezer. I got, uh, my boys... Some more Pringles Sizzlin' Sweet and Sour Chippies. They they enjoyed these the last time. They're not like raving about them, but they like them. I got some more of that. And oh, we're almost out of tea. And uh, I saw that this was a Dollar Tree. I. I don't know if I'll like this tea. I'm extremely fussy about tea. I really like a good, strong tea. And there's so many times I don't like store brand teas. So um, I'm not sure I'll like this one. Hopefully I will. And I got the Lord Lancaster. You got 75 tea bags in here. Uh, this is the Earl Grey. So, um, yeah, dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree. I keep saying a dollar twenty-five, by the way, from my, my U.S. friends who uh, don't realize I am in Canada, 
and our Dollar Trees here in Canada charge us $1.25 per item versus uh, what you would be charged $1 in the US. But we have a lot of the same items with some exceptions. And uh, one of those exceptions is you may not be uh, Dollar Trees in the US, I'm not sure, uh, buy supplies from Multicraft like we do in Canada. But um, I was very happy to see a whole bunch of brand new products from uh, Multicraft at my Dollar Tree and including the their color factory line the color factory line has seen has been coming in steadily into my dollar tree there is a lot of the there's a lot of the new the newer labels of multicraft that are showing up in my dollar tree at least and another dollar tree near me and so i'm pretty happy to see i saw all of these uh the new labels and the pack the products at creativation um, in january and uh, because i am a wholesale buyer also from them i have their catalog and i saw this I, there's a lot of products that are coming into the store that are new to the store but uh they're from the same importer so i was happy to see that there was a lot of those products coming in there was quite a quite a selection and these are the painting sponges, a two pack. I already have a lot of sponges, but I just bought them to show you guys that you can get these at Dollar Tree. And they are great for art making, craft, arts and crafts. You get two of these nice sponges. And I know for a fact, because years ago when I started uh, in art, I bought sponges at the fine art supply store and I did pay a lot more than that so that's a really good deal and I will get to the other multi-craft um, import items uh, when I find them so uh, another item I picked up is this uh, lovely rose colored mason jar I like this one because it said made with love and I thought it would be the right height to store either some knitting needles or some paint brushes in my studio and, I, and because it said made with love I thought that was appropriate for my studio and of course I love this uh, rose color now a funny funny thing uh, I have very small fingernails and by coincidence i discovered uh, a month ago two couple months ago that the children's fashion nails the little girls fashion nails seem to fit my nail beds better than the uh, adult version so um i just picked up some that looked they didn't look too childish and uh yeah so i got myself some uh, cute little nails <laughs> That I can use for my little fingernails. <laughs> so I got, uh, sorry, uh, I got this one with the, the light pink and daisy. I, I, I love that shade of pink. And I got these ones with their, a variation of, and you have gradation of light pinks and blues with some shimmer. And Oh, and the other one I picked up is the this one that's kind of clear with polka dots. I actually have to buy two kits of these because some there I need more of the bigger ones than the smaller ones um, because I I have my bigger nails <laughs> need the bigger ones. So um, hey, it works for me. Okay, so I got I got myself some of those. Oh, as I was about to cash out, I saw these, what do you call these, aluminum wallets. So I thought, oh, I'll pick myself one of, one of these. And of course, they had one in flowers with pink. So, of course, that's the one I got because I'm a flowery girl and I love pink. And so this is the little aluminum wallet. I don't know if I like using one of these, but I just thought it was really cute and I would give it a try. And da, 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 da. Uh, in the garden section of Dollar Tree, I got a few more packages of these metal garden hooks. It's a pretty good deal. You get two of these for $1.25. 
These are handy to hang uh, hanging pots and even birdhouses uh, from uh, other hooks and branches and things like that outside. So I got a couple of those. And oh, um, these are really good. These are by Jot. They are the magnetic clips. You get four in a pack, which I think is pretty good, and they're very they're heavy duty. They hold really well. I, I've been by I've bought these over the years, and I am not disappointed by these ones. And I will be putting these along some of my craft carts to hold items. And yeah, so I got these. It's a good deal. <clears throat> oh, I saw this candy, Aurora Hard Candies Eucalyptus. And I'm pretty sure eucalyptus is good for sore throats. And since I've been dealing with that lately, and, and like I said, our, the laryngitis, I get down, my voice is about to go again. Um, I thought these might be beneficial to me and just a change from those medicine-y like cough drops. So I thought I would give these a try. Excuse me, I need a sip of coffee. And yes, I know caffeine is bad for laryngitis, so that's why I'm having, I'm actually drinking decaf. I'm drinking it more for the warmth uh, than anything else. And let's see what else I got. Oh, I did get some adult fashion nails, so I won't be able to use all of the ones in this package. I'll be using mostly the smaller ones, but check these out. Flamingos! They only had one package, so I would have bought a second one because I use mostly the small ones in here. But it's flamingos. It's so cute. All right, uh, enough silliness. In the food section, I got this jar of pizza sauce for my guys. I got them the, this time I got them tomato and basil. Very practical to have for them to make their own little pizzas. And I picked up a few of these uh, Slim Fast meal replacement drinks. And I just thought this is really handy to have around for those days where somebody is like, got a dash out the door and they need something and you know if I keep a few of these on the refrigerator um, for for a buck 25 for a meal replacement that's not bad so and they only come in the chocolatey royale at my Dollar Tree so I got a few of these and I'm sure that this is a better price than buying them at the grocery store which I wouldn't have anyway because I wouldn't go for that but it's just because I saw them. I picked up this can of Franco chicken gravy. I bought this on a whim one time. And uh, just because I was not in the mood to make homestyle gravy one evening. And I, it was getting late. And I was a Dollar Tree. So I just grabbed this to go with some chicken. And Anyway, my son loved it. <laughs> And I was like, he's the only one who really loves it, like enough for me to go buy some, him some more. So I, that's why I got it. I just picked up this can for him so we could have it in the pantry so he can have his chicken gravy. And in the creative stuff, I'm getting to that. I've been purchasing items at Dollarama and Dollar Tree uh for a video that i want to make to talk to you guys about alternatives to expensive art supplies um for made do for doing your own art and crafts as well and um i've been buying things at dollar tree dollar room and actually i already have a lot of stuff from those stores that i use in my own art making so but I've been buying some more so I could show you guys uh, alternatives. So I buy these. These ones are at Dollar Tree. You get 30 of these little plastic cuppies. I may have shown these to you in a previous haul. And my, these are called shot glasses, the disposable shot glasses. And I use these a lot for mixing things in my, so in my studio and also for pouring uh, for doing acrylic pours especially because you don't use a lot of acrylic and for doing small paint pours and 
exactly that. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I, I'm going to be doing a video that is down the road. But uh, yeah, one of the supplies I get that is really inexpensive at uh, the dollar stores. So I picked up also this Crayola Color Alive 2.0. Apparently there's a free app for this. And it is, it contains sheets that you color. And then with the app and your device, you, I guess, can bring the images you've colored to into like a three-dimensional form so they, they look like they're alive type of thing and uh, I, I got this mostly because I wanted the artwork for a Wonder Woman and I just I like to buy things like this at Dollar Tree to for sketching uh, as a reference for sketching references so I can sketch some either animals, plants, superheroes, whatever, and get ideas for my own designs. So, um, and that's very cheap. That's $1.25 for some references uh, that I will be using in my work. So that's another thing I find. I could buy really inexpensive references at Dollar Tree. So when I see something I'm interested in, I, I'll get it. And getting back to the art supplies, as I was saying, my Dollar Tree had just uh, stocked up the shelves with the uh, Color Factory supplies. They had a lot, really a lot of stuff. And this is one of the things I picked up. It is the Artist Palette. And I have been shopping online for other Artist Palette right now, so I know that this is an excellent, excellent deal. This is the Circular One. And it has, uh, well, let me count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are 10 small wells and one large well in the center. But what I like about this palette is that it comes with a removable plastic lid. Don't throw this out when you buy this. It's not meant to be tossed out. You keep this. So if you are using a uh, paint, such as acrylic or uh, a paint, any paint that you want to keep moist without drying out you can use this lid to keep your paint relatively moist um, so let's say you're working on a project and you need to stop what you're doing because you're like me you're a mom you have constant interruptions then you could cover your paint with this little lid and when you come back to your project at least your paint will probably still be moist and you won't have to refill it or uh, throw it out. So I'm not saying that this works for long term. I have another one of these. I've had it for years and uh, I paid a lot more than $1.25 to get this back then and it, it doesn't last that many days but it has been beneficial for me so um, I wanted to tell you guys about this. It's, it's a good little palette to have. Another color factory item I already have like a case of these. <laughs> I didn't need to buy another one, but I bought it to show you. They have these really cool, large sponge daubers and they're called finger sponge daubers. So you can actually put two fingers in them and daub your ink, your paint, whatever you want on your project. Uh, we use this for stencil work. We use this for inking work on, on, on card making and with stamping. There's a lot of ways to use these daubers. They're great. And uh, like I said, I already have a case of these, but I just bought this one to show you guys that these are available at uh, some Dollar Trees. So go check that out. Another item that I like to purchase at the dollar stores for using in my studio are these disposable tablecloths. I already got a couple at Dollarama to show you that at Dollarama they too are $1.25 and they, they have a, a lot of different colors. And at Dollarama, the, I, the ones that are in, they actually have a hot pink one. They don't have a light pink one like this. Well, that that is in my store. And I got this light pink one at Dollar Tree. So I just wanted to show to you that these are great uh, ways to cover your work surfaces when you're doing some messy work. 
and you could just throw it out after and it didn't cost you much so got that another couple items that i picked up in the kitchenware section of dollar tree were these cooling racks these are a really good deal because you get two of them for a dollar 25 and uh yes i could use these as cooling racks as is i can also use these as racks for letting projects dry and i can also use this in paint pouring again with the paint pouring i know and speaking of the paint pouring these are fantastic buying these at dollar tree for a dollar 25 these like little roasting pans are great for any type of paint project where you will be disposing of the paint and there will be lots of drippage involved uh, pick these up at your local dollar store it's 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 really worth it on uh, this bag i just have uh, napkins this, we go through a ton of these i go through a ton of them today so yeah uh, got those i got this funnel is in the car section stuff it's a yeah it's called an auto funnel and uh yeah that's it's for you know i guess putting liquids and stuff in uh your car like you know windshield washer fluid all those fluids and i picked up a few other items for uh, the car my dollar tree had just stocked the shelves with some um of these auto products so i picked them up i i've heard other people say that the it, it was a really good deal to buy these at dollar tree i even told my husband about them and he was like rolling his eyes and i just thought well so many people say it's worth it and i know that you know i i saw receipts come in the other day for stuff for like my car needed brake fluid and i was like i'm pretty sure i could get that at the dollar tree um, but of course my husband says oh it's not the same thing but I don't know it was a Canadian tire brand so I got this one from Dollar Tree this is, uh, oh no this is not this is power steering fluid okay power steering fluid I don't know my fluids and um, yeah, I thought this was like cheaper than Canadian tire so yeah anyway so I got this one I also got this handy dandy little carrier in black so I thought this would be handy in the garage so we could find these things better than just strewn about and they have some armor all products I uh, got the extreme rim cleaner the original protectant I think this is what you use to like the inside of your car and then the uh, some glass cleaner well I just got it because they had it and they they're all in the same brand and I just thought they would look really cute in this little basket and then I saw putting this together I was like oh yeah Father's Day is coming <laughs> this might actually be a nice little gift basket for uh, a dad who's into taking care of cars so in and that frame of mind I picked up these driver's choice microfiber cleaning towels you get two in here I got that and oh yeah then I saw the chamois and I saw they were washing a car with it so I got that too I thought I'm gonna throw that in there it will not be the Father's Day gift because I just wouldn't really have liked that too much so uh, at least I don't think so he prefers to play golf so I just got this and I will just put it in the garage and the and that black basket there was also from Dollar Tree for a dollar 25 a couple other things I picked up for my studio are the baby powder and the baking soda these are two ingredients uh, I can use in making some very inexpensive um, artist supplies and uh, yeah I I've done this in the past and the recipes might be on my blog but I they'll, they'll be a part of my videos and uh, yes because with these it is possible to make some 
uh, gesso and paste and yeah there's lots of products you can make with those and these are not for my studio these are just uh, for my guys I got a bottle of Billy Bob's hot sauce don't worry I like I said it's not a craft supply this is a food supply and I also got Billy Bob's jalapeno pepper juice Ooh, sounds spicy but uh, my guys like spicy food so I got that for them and a few other items that I picked up that I thought I might be able to use here in my studio were these little mesh baskets. I thought these might work with my pegboard and some hooks to store things. So I got one of each size because I wasn't sure how I was going to use them. So I got one of each format that this was available at the store. This rectangular one, this kind of square one and this more long rectangular basket one each a dollar 25 and in the last bag okay i'm running out of room on my desk and there's a lot of glass items so i don't want to knock them over by accident i picked up two of these little pencil boxes these are the kind that have to snap and pull out i rearranged part of my studio so i can bring up my um, drafting table and I have it set up in the corner here and I've moved my pencils and erasers and all my uh, sketching supplies over so I've been using these to store some of my more fragile pencils on a little shelf that I have there I'll show you that in another video uh, oh, I was telling you that my Dollar Tree had just stocked up the shelves with some uh, of the Craft Medley line from Multicraft of their products. And these are their little glass jars with the little screw-on metal caps. They come in this size and they also have them in the longer size. I got these. These are excellent for storing our own mixes of enamel paints, let's say. They're great for storing certain products that you cannot store in a uh, plastic container because the plastic container would melt. So these are great for all sorts of supplies. And so you get mini glass containers. It's a set of five. Yep, Craft Medley. $1.25. I also picked up this nice sheet of cork. That's a cork sheet. It's a nice thickness. You can actually put push pins in this one. And again, uh, this is $1.25. These were also new. These are from the their Forever in Time line. And these are some lovely gem style stickers. And I think these like are, are the rosy gold color. So I got a couple of those. I think these are really pretty pretty. And, oh, in the Jot line, uh, they're bringing in a lot more of the Jot stuff. It seems to be, uh, I think the Forever in Time is uh, losing space on the floor. And um, they are bringing more of the Jot brand in. And, uh, yeah, I think the, um, this line, the Forever in Time line, is slowly being... Uh, maybe it's being moved off the floor to make room for more of the craft medley line that uh, is coming in and uh, for the Jot line. So Jot is a different company though, but I thought these are really cute stickers. So I got those ones. I like the old fashioned telephones. And... Oh, here's the other package of hooks I was telling you I would find eventually. <laughs> I picked up some pens, again, just to show you guys that you can find some pretty good 
uh, products at your dollar stores. And I say dollar stores because in Canada, some of us have access to Dollar Trees and Dollar Ramas. And there's other chains of dollar stores, uh, like a Dollar Plus store and Dollar, I, I don't remember all the names of them. I can only go to Dollar Tree and Dollar Rama in my area. That's all I have. And uh, so I wanted to show you what I found at Dollar Tree. I like these pens. They are the Ink R2 Roller Pens. I find these to be a really inexpensive alternative to some other fine tip black permanent pens, permanent marking marker mark marker pens. So uh, they are permanent once you let them dry. They do take a little time to dry. They will smudge. Right away. They will smudge if you smudge them right away, of course, but uh, they do dry permanently. So I do like using these. And I want to show you that they are available also in these other... I haven't tested out the other, other colors yet, but I saw that they had them in this like navy blue, I guess. And they also had some pretty colors. Uh, this nice pink and purple or fuchsia and pink, I guess. And this like orange and kind of a turquoisey blue. So I just think those are they're such a good deal. Or two of them for $1.25. Oh, we have a we have a, a gumball bubblegum machine. So I got some refills for it, some bubblegum. And at, you can get a bag of bubblegum at Dollarama for just a dollar versus dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree, but these ones actually fit better in our bubble gum machine. So I got those. Oh, and I actually got two packs of these little telephones, these antique telephones, because I really like them. And oh, here's some more of the Forever in Time. Uh, these are pyramid gems. I had not seen these before. I think they just found these at the back of the store or something, and they put them on a hook. So I got this one with the little hearts. And, oh, I got some more of the craft medley jars. And some more Forever in Time stickers. And, oh, 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 oh. I have a few more. Oh, yeah, this is, this is also craft medley. And more craft medley. They have a lot of these new uh, wood. They have these laser wood cut shapes. They're really pretty. They have different styles. I did get some owls. I know I got them. They're somewhere in the bag. And there are, there are, there are, I can't see, there are four pieces in here for these pretty laser wood cuts. They also have these bags of mini flower pots in here. There are two. These are great for my fairy garden making friends. And Oh, and they come in a smaller size. So you get four of the littler ones. And in this bag you get two. You can have small little pots. So, and four pieces. And they show an example here of a, like a little mushroom house, like a little fairy garden. They made like, I think they made, oh yeah, they use this to make the base of the little mushroom house. How cute is that? So, and I knew that this was coming to the stores because I saw these at the show in January. And um, I, I know they're, they, they have a whole new line of art products. And so, um, yeah, I hope they will be coming in. They will all be coming into Dollar Tree, but they might not because a lot of them have, have a higher price point. So but I'll be happy to see what I can see at Dollar Tree. And I picked up a package of these clear acrylic in pink. I like the pink tone of these plates. I thought these would always be useful in my studio and because they're pink, so I got those. Uh, oh, another supply I bought for making art supplies. <sighs> Excuse me, I have to pause the video a lot today because I'm still coughing and I need to uh, hydrate my throat. Um, 
I got the two set of two the two set of glue bottles the Jot brand. Uh, just to show you that this is a really cheap supply to have in your studio. Not so much for the glue. Personally, I don't find this to be the best glue to use in a project. However, it is uh, a great ingredient in some supply making. Uh, so I know, uh, I think people are using this for slime making, but I also know that this makes a binder in certain art supply products. And so for an ingredient that will cost you about 60 some cents per, well, per bottle, uh, that's cheap. And, 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 I picked up these markers. Uh, they are from the Jot brand. I already have the other set by Jot, which is uh, more primary and darker colors. And they come in a package of eight for the same price. These ones are in a package of six for these different colors. They're lighter. They're, they're a lighter color set than the other set. And I just bought these to show you that you can get your own. These are alcohol-based ink markers or permanent ink. These are great for, for those of you who want to try out alcohol ink markers. Buy these first. Try them out. If there's only a bullet tip on them, but uh, this will give you an idea of what it's like to color with these types of markers. Don't use these in a regular, color, regular type coloring book. I warn you, they will bleed through the pages just because the paper is not meant to for this it will total it would completely absorb the ink and it will go right through it won't float on top so <clears throat> I just wanted to show you that you can get some pretty colors for very cheap and this also can be used in another art making supply so there's a lot of things that you can buy you can buy a lot of your ingredients to make some supplies at the dollar store Oh, here's another of uh, the craft medley line of wood products. They have the little napkin rings. Very, very cute, very fun. And, 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 and. Oh, this is not for craft making, but this is going in my garage for the cars. They have these. One step soap infused vehicle washcloths. Just add water to activate. It's kind of like the camping soap. <laughs> so I go, I thought, oh, why not? We'll try this. So I got two packages of this. We have two cars, so that's going in the garage too. And oh, Finally, my store had restocked their canvas boards. Uh, so these are artist canvases. These ones are imported by Greenbrier. And they're a Greenbrier import, yeah. And I like to, I got a bunch of the circle ones because I want to try some certain projects. So I got a whole bunch of these. $1.25 for a circular canvas. Can't beat that. And... Oh, yesterday uh, in my Dollarama haul, I hauled a cover. I'll show it to you. I got this a Dollarama. This is the composition book. Composition book storage cover, storage jacket. And it's a plastic that is sold to go over a composition book. So I got the composition book at Dollar Tree and I just want to show you how it fits like this. So you get a whole demonstration today. Oh, I'm off camera. Oh, okay. All right, let's see now my composition book has a protective covering but even better there is a pocket there's a pocket 
so I can put in my <laughs> I can put in my pencil or you know any type of notes or something and off I go with my my composition book so I got um, a bunch of these as my son uh, and I love to use composition books in our work and I just thought the these covers would be quite handy so composition book from Dollar Tree composition book cover from Dollar Ram and each was a dollar each was a and each one was a dollar twenty five I picked up some envelopes the peel and seal envelopes you have six in here the little one well, little ones I have stuff to mail out. I have to get around to that. Oof, I have so much to do. Okay. Um, I saw these hair accessories, and this is something I picked up just for me. I thought they were very, very pretty. These are some... I got it for the boppy pins mostly because I already have a ton of hair elastics. And uh, although there, I can... Hair elastics disappear all the time, but anyway, I love these little boppy pants with the, sh the sparklies on them. So I got two packs because I know myself I'm likely to lose these. So I got two packs of these. Uh, this is new at my Dollar Tree. They they got the Elf stuff, so it's an all over color stick in pink lemonade. I have no idea if I will like this. But it says it's an all-over color stick. So um, this is the only color they had. So we'll see. And speaking of pink, I got myself this cute little pink hat. So there we go. Ooh, it's a little tight. And yeah. So I can wear this one when I garden, maybe. And uh, I picked up another pink hat, a Dollarama, but it was all suede. And I thought, that's way too nice to wear in the garden. So this one will be maybe the one I could wear gardening and my other one from Le Dollarama <laughs> that's in suede I could wear for fancier good <laughs> sorry I thought I was being funny uh, another Crayola product I picked up the Dollar Tree man the Crayola products are really inexpensive there and they are a dollar 25 they do have Crayola products at Dollarama also by the way um, and but Dollar Tree has these it's, you can't beat this a dollar 25 so again this is a uh, color alive action coloring pages uh, this one I picked it up for again for references for sketching mythical creatures but it comes with markers and apparently this is a different color it's like I don't know if it's an exclusive or it was a new color that they made but I thought ooh, that's special <laughs> so I have all these little markers to play with and I have all these uh, references for uh, sketching and drawing and designing so got that and 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 uh, oh, I found these and I could have used these months ago. These are doorknob wall shields. So I have a few doors in my house that they uh, they open up and the, the door handle hits a wall behind it. So this is intended on protecting the wall from the doorknob. So you kind of have to stick this white circle <laughs> on your wall which is fine if your wall is white but um you can either have this or marks from your doorknob on your wall or a hole so but i have a, a couple spots that uh, would benefit from this because it the it could become a hole so i would rather have that than a hole i'm almost done with this video and it's gonna i i have to it's going to be a good thing because I, 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 yeah, I'm starting to lose my voice and I'm going to, I'm going to sneeze too. Oh. So I picked up this uh, little glass, looks like a flower candle holder thingy here. And um, I thought it was really pretty. I could use this in my studio. And I also thought I could use this to hold like an ink bottle for when I'm using a dip pen. I just thought it would be very, very pretty 
um, thing to have in my studio. And also, I could use it as a paperweight. Not so. This is. I know it's in, the intention is to hold like a candle, but I just thought there would be other uses for my studio for this. I saw these little velvety pouches, and I checked, and they had pink. So of course, I got the pink one because I just thought it was really pretty. And, 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 oh, I picked up some Canada napkins, you know, Canada Day will be here in a month. And, oh, another art supply tool that I wanted to show you were the, uh, these are also a color factory line product. These have they've had these before in the store there was just a few of these so I don't know if they're getting more I apologize um, after that phone call that I had to take because it was important I was continuing with my haul not realizing that my camera wasn't on so it's only a few days later after I uploaded my other video and all that uh, that I was editing this one that I saw that it had been cut off so the last item I had to share with you from that haul was this artist brush set it is uh, from color factory they've had these brushes in Dollar Trees for a few years I think and so I'm not sure that they a lot of Dollar Trees still have these or for how much longer they'll be carrying them uh, you know, because they, they're they always coming out with new you know, new lines of, of brushes. But I just wanted to let you know that these are really a good quality paintbrush. If you are looking for really inexpensive but good little paintbrushes, I do highly recommend these. Uh, the, the bristles are like... A golden taclon or a I think they're a real golden taclon uh, nylon type of brush uh, these are great for watercolor they are also great for acrylics or oils uh, just use them for one of them not don't go from one to the other and I say that I highly recommend these and I say that these are good quality because I've bought several of these and they've never lost their bristle. They're really flexible. Uh, after they have been used and cleaned, they retain their shape very well. So great buy for these three, for a set of these three paint brushes at Dollar Tree for $1.25. And that was the last item for my Dollar Tree haul. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this uh, useful and entertaining. And I would so appreciate a thumbs up, a like, comment, share. Take care of yourself, stay crafty, and I'll see you after the next haul. Bye.